Welcome everyone to another video. Today we're going to look at what I call a sleeping giant stock and this is Hylion. Right now it's one of my worst performing stocks but I think once Wall Street investors wake up to Hylion and its potential for growth, I think this thing will skyrocket. Welcome back to another video. My name is Adam. On this channel, we talk about everything related to finance from stocks to cryptocurrencies to saving money uh, and my personal investments. And as we can see, Halion, uh, the, the one day chart, I mean, down 5% on Friday over the past month is down 21%. Over the past six months, it's down 44%. Over the past year, it's down close to 60%. It reached a high of $58 at one point. And there was a lot of hype, there was a lot of attention gathering around Hylion stock. Uh, and a lot of people made a lot of money, but most people lost a lot of money. And if you bought near its peak, uh, you'd be down over 80% today. Uh, right now on, on my position, I'm down by about 50% on Hylion stock, but I'm in it for the long term. And I've been averaging down ever since I started buying uh, at around the, the, the $20 range. Um, so Hylion is focused on the electrification of class A or heavy duty trucks. Uh, it recently got included in the Russell 2000 and 3000 indices, uh, which is basically a measure of small cap stocks. Uh, yeah, it's a small cap stock market index of the smallest 2000 stocks. Uh, and I mean, this hasn't been performing very well relative to the S&P, okay? Uh, so when the Russell 2000 is down, you can expect Hylion to be down and other small caps to be down, right? Over the past month, it's down 3%. Uh, I mean, over the past year, it's it's not looking bad. Uh, but I mean, you can see that just, I mean, over the past, since February, it's done absolutely nothing, okay? It just oscillated from like 2,400 to 2,100, right? And since February, it's down by like 5%. Uh, so, uh, you know, depending on where you look at. Um, so I see small caps as the major opportunities. Right now, a lot of the big boy clubs, so trillion plus market caps, we're talking about Apple, Google, they've had a ridiculous run up and they've been pushing a lot of the large cap indices like the S&P up like crazy. Uh, and so if you're looking for an opportunity, I'd say the Russell 2000, you know, small to mid cap stocks is where it's at. Uh, and I mean, I believe Hylion is one of the more attractive reward uh, risk reward opportunities out there in the market. Uh, for one, the revenue is expected to grow by 5,700% just for next year. I think what's what's making the stock, keeping the stock down is one, it's decently uh, shorted. Uh, it's It has about 20% short interest just out of the shares outstanding. Uh, sorry, out of the shares percent of float, it's about 20% right here. And so, I mean, I would say it's nothing ridiculous, but still having a fifth of shares that are on the float uh, being shorted is quite a bit, all right? One out of every five shares. So there is a potential for a short squeeze. Uh, and I think the reason why a lot of shares are shorted is because um, they're not making much revenue yet, okay? So they, they are in the growth and development phase of the company. Uh, however, I believe in the business model and I believe in the the company leadership behind um, Hylion. Okay, you look at Thomas Healy, he used to be a motorsports driver, he's an engineer uh, and, and he knows what's what the company is all about. It's very unlike something like Nikola uh, where they had to roll the truck down the hill because the truck wasn't working. Okay, uh, and the business model, I like the business model because they're focusing on the direct next step towards electrification of long haul duty trucks. I've said this before, I'm going to say it again. A lot of people can't or a lot of companies can't just go out and buy a, a fully electric Tesla semi. OK, when it when it comes out, uh, just because it's very expensive. So Hylion provides these next step solutions that allow companies who don't want to spend a lot of money to have a hybrid version uh, through diesel or comp compressed natural gas or the fully electric Hypertruck ERX solution. So they have two solutions there that they're working on uh, and they're expected to grow revenue by a tremendous amount next year to average estimate is 87 uh, million right there. So if they're able to do this, 
uh, by next year, by 2022, I think the company will skyrocket. Okay, just to see that, you know, their business model is sound. There's a lot of interest, a lot of contracts for their trucks. Uh, and uh, uh, that definitely should be good for their stock price. So again, I that's why I think Hylion is a sleeping giant. But let's go over again what Hylion is all about. Uh, so again, of course, they have the Hypertruck ERX, which is the fully electric solution. Then they have their hybrid diesel and com hybrid compressed natural gas powertrains. And they also have battery solutions, um, which one commenter actually asked me about because I said in the previous video, they can charge in under eight minutes. I believe that's charging time from like 15% to like over 80%. Uh, but again, you can always, I guess, go here on their battery packs uh, and they develop their own in-house battery systems for customers to use in their own applications, of course, in their truck. So um, I, I went on their, of course, on this site and I couldn't find anything that says how big the battery is as well as, um, how like what the charge is is it from zero percent to 100 percent or just from 15 percent to 80 percent uh they just like are obviously promoting their product it's they've undergone thermal testing um cooling design so it's incredibly safe and they're trying to increase the life cycle of their batteries so again i i highly recommend you to check out uh their their website they have a lot of information on there uh, and they're, you know, one, one of the major bull points also is that they're going to be developing these batteries and selling them to customers and they're developing these batteries in house. Um, another thing is that they formed a Hypertruck Innovation Council to advance electrification solutions for commercial transportation industry. So they partnered with really big names. I mean, the ones that stick out to me are Pensk and Ryder. I don't know if I've uh, pronounced them correctly, but like all of these here, uh, Agility Logistics, American Natural Gas, et cetera, et cetera. They formed a council to partner with these folks so they can better uh, understand what these guys need in terms of their transportation goals as well as their carbon neutral goals for the future. So uh, I, I really like their, that they're taking proactive steps. They're trying to increase their name uh, to these customers so that they'll potentially order their trucks. Another bullish factor is, of course, the now there's actually bipartisan support for Biden's infrastructure network, which is a, I think it was over a two trillion dollar deal uh, at the beginning. But of course, the Republicans didn't want to spend that much. So now it's a one point two trillion bipartisan infrastructure deal. And part of it, a couple hundred million is to promote um, existing and to further promote electric solutions for for electric vehicles which means uh, building out charging stations, uh, making it more friendly and easier for uh, trucks and cars to be able to charge their vehicles if they have an EV. So this would also be good for Hylion because of course it's it's one of the leaders for class eight electrification. So again, the, bi the infrastructure deal from Biden would also improve Hylion. Uh, and again, I just think this stock is unnecessarily beaten down. Not a lot of people are talking about it, um, because there's not much interest, but I think again, this is a sleeping giant and, uh, hopefully I'll come back in a year or two and all, you know, all my predictions will be correct. But of course, don't listen to me, make your own decisions when investing in stocks. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I just really like Hylion. I like the, whatever they're doing and I, you have to be patient, right? You can't just, you know, expect things to come out, uh, right away. And a lot of these things are delayed, but if you believe in the future and long-term future of, electrification, then Hylion might be the, the company for you to invest. And if you're looking at the stock chart, I mean, of course, it reached like around $60 uh, earlier on, like last year in September, October, that's when it was way, way overhyped. Uh, and then it came back down to earth, like overhyped stocks usually do. And let's just take a look at the chart. Let's zoom in, uh, see if we can find a decent support level. Uh, and I'd say a support level is down unfortunately at the eight dollar range so i could see it free falling all the way down to around eight dollars uh, before coming back up and as we can see here uh, it's riding the lower bollinger band so what i expect it to do um, is you know there might be one or two green candles before it curls up but it could just ride the lower bollinger band for some time but i see this right now i mean it went from like twelve dollars all the way now to $9.33. I see $9.33, a really good deal for Hylion stock. And if it keeps going lower, 
I just buy more and more of Hylion stock. Right. And I mean, it, it, the stock only rides the lower Bollinger Band for so long. Right. And so this is a typical pattern. Uh, and I mean, if you buy here, um, you, you might want to pick up some shares if it keeps going down the lower Bollinger Band. But I don't think it will last. All right. It eventually it bounces off it like it bounced off it here. Uh, back when it was around ten dollars, it went from ten dollars to twelve dollars before going back down. So you could even swing play this, right? Uh, it, then it rode down the Bollinger Band. You could wait for a green day, buy on the green day, ride it up again, and then it goes back down. And it, I mean, the cycle continues, right? So uh, you might want to wait just because there is a bit of selling pressure. But again, my strategy would just be to accumulate shares now. RSI is looking pretty good at oversold at like thirty four. Um, MACD is below the signal right now. So indicating more again of a bear signal, um, but you know you wait one or two weeks and this things could turn around. And I mean, if you're in it for the long term, it doesn't really matter where you buy. Uh, buying right now will will not matter if you buy at nine, you buy at eight, buy at seven, because in the long term future you look at this as a hundred, two hundred dollar plus stock. Um, it, it won't matter that much what your price point is. So that's just my take. I think it's a really good valuation right now. But of course, please do your own due diligence. Let me know what you think of highly on stock. Uh, and uh, yeah, you be sure to grace the like button. Uh, you don't have to subscribe if you don't want to, but that would also be greatly appreciated as well as please feel free to check out the discord here below. We've had some really interesting conversations uh, about stocks and, and everything like that. Um, so uh, yeah, feel free to check that out. There's a link down below. And if you'd like to support the channel, there are always ways to do that uh, through Patreon or through just joining the channel that you can also feel free to check down below. And you can also get access to my uh, buys and sells private group there. So uh, yeah, take care. Love you all. And I'll see you in the next one.